you've likely noticed them popping up in gardens and parks around the province. Mushrooms. October is peak mushroom season in southern British Columbia. Foraging for fungi has become so popular, the Royal BC Museum's best-selling guide, Mushrooms of British Columbia, is now in its fourth printing. And for the first time in nearly 30 years, the museum will be hosting Fungi Fest. There are several events planned throughout this month, from watching a new IMAX movie to taking a nature walk with mushroom experts. There's the smell of bleach. There are mushrooms that have many different smells. There's even one that smells like bubble gum. Some of the fungi out here start to uh, reproduce, and when they reproduce, many of them will put up what we call mushrooms. Many of the trees out here have growing on them what we, we call them conks. They, uh, they're up against the tree. Usually it's trees that are dying or dead that have conks on them. We start finding mushrooms in, in the southern area of BC, the coastal area of BC, usually around August. And then gradually the mushrooms pick up through the fall season. And so we sometimes call it the Mario mushroom, the most popular foraging mushroom, the Pacific Golden Chanterelle. I'm one of the authors of the Mushrooms of British Columbia, which is published by the Royal BC Museum. We were quite surprised at the reception of it when it came out. For the first year, it was the number one bestseller in BC. And uh, this year, the, the South Vancouver Island Mycological uh, Society show is going to be at the Royal BC Museum. We bring in mushrooms that we've collected from all over the area. We're gonna have a walk on the weekend for people who wanna go out in Beacon Hill Park. There is a new IMAX film opening uh, called Fungi, The Web of Life. It's an amazing film. And so it's all part of a kind of mushroom extravaganza. This one's called the dyer's conch because it's often used for dyeing cloth. So this one is one that pops up on lawns. It's called a shaggy mane mushroom. And it's a very good edible. Uh, I believe this is the first wild harvested mushroom I ever picked and ate. There are in BC at least 3,000 known species of mushrooms, and we're guessing there may be another five to 10,000 of them that we don't even know their names yet. Uh, so there's lots to learn. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.